Welcome back to another episode of Curios for the Curious. Today we're looking at a wood carving of a reptile lizard a gecko shape. It is probably not to scale if we compare it to the size of my hand. And let me just quickly measure it against a yardstick here. It is 20 inches in length and you can see it is hand painted with actually a variety of patterns that we'll get into a little bit more closer detail. But let's take a quick look at the reverse side. It is shaped flat so it can be displayed on say a table, flat top surface or hung on a wall due to these convenient uh, loop areas where you could possibly hang it with wall hangers or very small brads which will be hard to see uh, up against all the various dots etc. So if we can look at the back side we can see it's roughly finished you can actually see uh, tooling marks that weren't uh, totally sanded out and here's actually uh, some natural uh, anomalies here um, possibly something in the original plant uh, wood grain itself but uh, we can see it's, it's painted dark and uh, some sort of glossy lacquer or paint and we have a made in Indonesia sticker so again if we go ahead and take a look at the decorative side we can see there are some shapes to shape out the body. If we start at the head area, we can see that we have the eyes outlined with bright dots. They appear to be white and then an outline of various sized white dots. The head itself, I don't know if you can see that, but not only are there concentric circles of off-white dots. They're not pure white, but they are, looks like they mixed it with a little bit of yellow to get them off-white. And then if you can see in the reflection here, there are darker concentric circles of a very uh, dark, possibly burgundy color. I'm not sure if this will help see them at all. But, uh, between each of these off-white bands, you can see there are two inner bands, and then there would be a central dot right there in the middle of the head. Uh, if we continue down the neck area, we can see three necklaces, per se, of white dots. And if we then look at the limbs, the uh, arms, per se, are left in the dark uh, paint and then seems to be some sort of skeletal pattern outlined with the white dots again down to the toes or phalanges and the webbing is uh, represented by these grooves carved into in between the uh, toes and we can also see that the tips of the toes are also uh, shaped as well. Likewise on this arm similarly a curved skeletal uh, array of dots and then the uh, fingers or phalanges are also again separated with these carved grooves and the shape of the toes is also represented as well. We continue through the torso abdomen area. This is where a lot of the decorative action is. Uh, let's see if we can analyze here. Want to go from the top or the bottom? What do you think? Let's go from the top. So we can see here to represent uh, kind of a dome shape based on the perspective and here are all, all these lines of dots are approaching this vanishing point somewhere up here. Uh, we can see a variety of colors. So the base of this dome is uh, the white dots and then we can then see 
various uh, lines approaching the vanishing point. If we look here, it appears to be an orange. I don't know if you can see that, but a blue, two orange, the kind of a red, not as dark as that burgundy, but it is a dark red. Two more orange, a blue, two orange, that dark red, and two orange, blue, etc., etc., repeated until we get to two final orange here. So not symmetrical, but uh, kind of a curved representation of, say, a domed back, and uh, with those uh, lines towards the vanishing point to accentuate that pattern as well. If we then look kind of further towards the middle of the torso abdomen, we can see now these longitudinal lines of red dots, which are brighter than these dark red dots here. And then kind of bright yellow dots, then white dots, and then the reverse of that as well. And then also this highlight of white dots here. Now if we approach more the abdomen area, we can see more intricate pattern of dots. We have the similar red, dark red, the orange again, a kind of sky blue, and then these kind of alternate. So then the orange is kind of the scale separator and then we have red blue red blue red blue red blue uh, continuing downwards we coming to the other limbs again the skeletal pattern represented by these white dots that meet down at the toe area and we can see separations with the webbing with these carved grooves and again toes are highlighted with their shapes as well. Now if we come down to the tail area, similar to the way the neck was banded, we see three bands of white dots. And now we get to a, another concentric circle pattern of the off-white, again, similar to the head, off-white circles. And then inside those, if we can see the reflections here, we have, again, a central, very dark or burgundy dot, uh, a ring, and then in between the other uh, circles of white dots, there are two circles of those dark burgundy uh, circles as well. Moving further down the tail, again we have three bands of the white dots crossing the tail, and then we get to the tail shape curving around, we have kind of a skeletal spine outlined with these white dots. And then off to the sides of the tail, we have a different pattern now of the same sky blue forming these kind of triangles all the way down to the tip of the tail and then tapering down. But then there's also, again, that very dark burgundy, a single row of dots on each side of the spine dots going all the way down to the tip of the tail. We take a quick look at the shaping of uh, this uh, carving. Again, we can see <clears throat> kind of a raised central area for the head, and then it kind of flattens out across the top of this body area to kind of show girth, perhaps. And then it tapers down to the tail, and then kind of forms this spine ridge all the way down to the tip of the tail there. So, kind of a variety of patterns. Again, to summarize, eyes, which we've seen before in some of my other videos on these uh, painted gecko wood carvings. Uh, but then here we have the variation of concentric circles of different colors, a dome shape, uh, an underdome, <laughs> the skeletal limbs, and then again, concentric circle. And then this interesting pattern down the tail with the, again, multiple colors as well. This has been another episode of Curios for the Curious. Feel free to check out other episodes on the channel on artsy-type objects. We also do unboxing videos. 
as well as show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and other expanded topics. And we also have a selection of book review media reviews. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you next time.